Jack's Rambly Bits. Hello again. Today I'm here on the temporary map on 2 BBT. This is my slave, Plat333. And what an excellent slave he was for the five seconds I knew him. Welcome back, everybody. Did you miss this video? Because I kind of did. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's been a long time since I've seen this. And uh, let me just say... I am not sorry for introducing slavery onto 2v2t. It was a remarkable concept, one that sadly was not as employed as often as it should have been. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start a new army, and I'm uh, I'm gonna make a, a whole bunch of slaves that uh, I'm not gonna take care of in the slightest, and uh, they're gonna dig dirt and stone and gravel and sand. They're gonna dig everything until spawn is a fucking crater. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you totally won't get distracted with a ton of other people trying to kill you and uh, the soon-to-be-invented uh, Russia war slash fourth incursion. Oh, and let's not forget the uh, invention of bed bombing and crystalling, which will ensure nobody with anything valuable sticks around spawn for a long time. That is, until the totem would be invented about uh, six months or so later. Oh, I haven't had this much fun in a while. I do believe we have Blamey. Ah, he logged. Ah. <laughs> I wasn't even going to do anything much. Oh well. Sure it would be a shame if something were to happen. Yep. Such a shame. Uh, I don't have any cobble. Oh. Let's just take a shitty screenshot of that. And make sure this guy drowns. Figure it out. There we go. <laughs> he was in unenchanted diamond armor at spawn. What did he think would happen? Now then. These guys. Mm, yeah, I think this this will work. Oh, I've got to take care of an ender. I haven't had the chance to get ender pearls in days. That's right. Correct. Oh, baby. You awake yet? <laughs> I hope that woke you up, because man was that loud. Uh, back in these days, I didn't have very good grasp of audio balancing or, you know, audio channels. I think I barely knew how to make OBS record. Uh, it wouldn't be too long after this that I would get a different laptop in which OBS just would not record. And Man, those were fun times. Uh, but other than that, you see me using X-Ray a lot to sort of scan the environment and figure out where things are. And that was because this was right after the drought of hacks that occurred in 1.9.4. You see a bunch of people asking for 1.10 related hacks because we'd just gotten 1.10 at that time. And there were a handful of things, but 1.9 saw an unprecedented return to vanilla which thankfully in the modern era has not been repeated, but you never know. There's always that fear in the back of my head that one day I will wake up, we'll have a version change, and it will be universal, but it will somehow prevent hacks from existing for a time. And it's not really that big of a deal nowadays, but back then it was a lot more important. 
So as a result, you can see me faffing around with very inept hackery. I think uh, Five Zig was the name of the mod or something like that. All it allowed you to do was reconnect automatically, which was important for moving through the really, really old queue before the queue server existed. And then it had an X-ray and your standard coordinates readout stuff in the top left corner there. It was very, very bare bones, but it's all we could have at the time. So, you know, yeah, oh, man, I kind of wish that had happened. A time with no hacks. It would be very interesting to have to play Minecraft on a 2B2T server, but somehow no hack clients could be enforced. That would be a very interesting thing. These... Just, they don't know... They just don't know who's boss, you know? They need someone to... Someone to shove the long, hard dick of the wall up their backsides and uh, give, give them a good sense of what's what. Really set the pace for what their lives are going to be like here in 2 b 2 t I mean, most of the old are all, you know, anti get out of here, etc., etc. et cetera. I, I'm saying, why not put them in use? They're, they're, they're a good resource. See, the, these idiots can dig till they starve. They're, they're at least good for that, right? I say, why not put them to And, uh... And, uh, I just, I figure, you know, instead of wasting them, it's not like they have talent, so I'm not wasting their talent, but I am wasting their time. Ouch! Sick burn! I'm not wasting their talent because none of them have any talent. <laughs> Ow! God, that's, uh, in, in hindsight, that's a little harsh. There are, there were a few newer players who came from the Russia invasion who very clearly had talent. Uh, Dark Takanuva, we just, uh, saw his, vid his build the other day. Um, he came from Russia. Like, he didn't come from Russia during this time period, but, you know, later. It's just funny that, like, I was a little wrong on that. You know, some of the newer people People had talent. They just needed the the raw power and freedom of 2B2T to really express that talent. But that eventually, yeah, there, there were a few people who came from here who were worth their worth their weight. It's just that for the first few years after the Russia invasion, you know, there would be no display of that kind of ability. And so honestly, like getting filtered back in the day, especially at, around this point, like getting filtered here, uh, as silly as it is, like you kind of deserved it if you got filtered by 2B2T in the early days of the Russia war. If if you yourself were a rusher. And uh, that goes triply so for all the older players who also got filtered by the Russia war. Like, half of Constantium's player base is made up of that very type of player. And yeah, I don't really have a lot of sympathy for you if, if the Russia war filtered you. Um, such is life in the zone, I guess. And hopefully... <laughs> he killed himself! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> because I said so. Okay, fuck it then. <laughs> Maybe he's just a slight cut above the rest, but this guy, no, he's not. Keep at it. I didn't say stop. <laughs> yeah, he logged. <laughs> I guess that's a word for it. Oh, so in the meantime... What the hell? My little... Just logged out on me. I'm sad. That's, that's a genuine disappointment. He was... He, he, he didn't want to be my slave. I, I just... I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, he came back. Uh. This guy, on the other hand, he needs to be taught some manners. Y you don't just run away from me. Two Minecraft? What the fuck kind of name? Just know this is necessary. Someday you'll be a big player like me. Oh, don't run. I'll no-scope you, bitch. Shit. Frame rate, please. Yeah, I'm, uh able to move very well. 
That is, of course. Just for clarification, though, as I uh, flail around helplessly, I was actually able to move a lot better without recording. Um, a lot of people have asked, you know, how did I run around and play 2 b 2 t with, like, 10 to 5 FPS, 14 FPS, you know, whatever it was on the recording. And the answer was simply, recording was so impactful on that crap top that I used to play on, it was impossible to both record and do anything meaningful at the same time. So, um, that's more or less how. There we go. Death by from Motorola. Anyway, hopefully our friend back there has decided not to. Let's let, let's all get them back to the dirt hole. See if we can't uh, make them. Make them useful. spawn greatly. <laughs> oh. See, this is what we call a Sisyphus scenario. They're, they're pushing a boulder up a hill that will never reach the top. And any time they stop to drink water, that is, any time they try to eat, they're just going to starve. There, there will be no, no leaving spawn for these two, because they're just perpetually going to do this shit. Over and over and over. See, why, why kill them and make them hate you? I mean, yeah, you can do that, and I wholeheartedly support those who do, but why not just give them meaningless tasks to perform over and over? Tasks that have absolutely no possible way of being accomplished. I mean, at least this way, that flat here is not going anywhere. See? And Pingu here, well, he's smart. He knows what's good for him. Get back here, ping guy. Why the fuck are they digging Don't you just hate it when your subjugated servants decide to run off into some little hole and plot against you? Slick plat, I see your ass. Think, think 
making a, a little hovel is gonna hide you. Administering justice in three, two, one. You know, part of me wonders where these people are now, eight years later, or almost eight years later. What were they thinking at that time? What What was it from their perspective? I, I just, I have to wonder about that. Just as a uh, point of clarification, though, uh, it's not like I had anything against these guys. I was just messing with them because they were at spawn. You know, it was convenient to mess with them. Uh... That's kind of how it was. Everybody was sort of the playthings of all the older players back in those days. It, it's a different sort of world than it is today, and, and well, it is what it is, I guess. Just couldn't learn. Just couldn't learn. But yeah, good old Platt here. He certainly seems to know what's up. as I stand here with 25 golden carrots wagging it in his face. <laughs> Show back up. Yeah, the server's perpetually full. You have to just get lucky clicking on it. Hope somebody logged out as you can log in. I swear, every time somebody logs out and the, the, the player count goes to 199, Less than a tenth of a second later, it's filled. Ooh, man, those were dark times. I remember how hard it was getting into the server. Oof. I'm really glad that we actually have something that mediates your access, but um, I was actually kind of wrong. As it turns out, this was before there was even a queue. You just had to wait for an empty slot to come available, and that's how you would be able to get in. It had completely slipped my mind that that was the state of affairs, during this temp map in June 2016. Damn, we sure have come a long way, haven't we? That's right, bitch. Dig with your friend. Oh, I should probably, like, move him slightly, kind of, if I can't nudge him a bit so that he won't technically be AFK, but it'll kick him for being inactive and that's kind of gay. Makes AFK really hard. Oh my god, this kid. See, Platt here is a model slave and Pingu is off over there fucking around like he doesn't know what the hell this... He doesn't know his cardinal directions, he doesn't know how to fucking play Minecraft can't listen or read for shit. I mean, it's a wonder he can even 
tie his own shoes. Such a sad state of affairs these kids these days have. Oh, I didn't want to push it. Oh, well. Uh, I'll be back when some more interesting happens. Ooh, we got another potential contestant entering the arena. Hey, you. Come here. Pikachu2204. These fucking names, I swear to God. Yeah, it really hadn't been impressed upon me at this time, but the sheer volume of actual children that poured into the server, I just, it still boggles the mind to this day. Come here, come here, come here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm not gonna hurt you much. Come here, come here. Whoa, let's not dance on a creeper now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well... <laughs> I guess shit happens. What? Somebody is asking for my coordinates. I don't give a shit. Uh, where the hell did Platt go? I guess he abandoned me too. Fuck, I swear. These people don't know what the hell they're on their ass. They, they don't know their asses from their elbows, let alone what they're messing with. Oh, God. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go out and recruit a new, uh, new slave. It's too bad the other ones didn't work out. Oh well. Hey, so as it turns out, this little fucker, <laughs> he used the passerby, Pikachu, what's her name, to act as a distraction, which I kind of expected, so that he could get away to go join a friend. So, let's, let's show him just how big a mistake that was. See, when you're in the service of Jack the Ripper, you're in service for life. I guess I didn't make that clear enough. Or something. Where are you? Yeah, I'm just gonna cut until I their asses. Oh, seriously? Just fucking seriously. Come on. Yeah, this is where they are. Poor Masson. <laughs> seriously? Fucking seriously, dude. Fucking eat it already. Oh, he logged. Little bitch. <laughs> My temp base. That's so cute. Well, in a nauseating sort of way. Take that. Nope. Take that. And I will destroy all this. Oops. Wrong. Okay. Don't mind me. Just cleaning up. Hengu's place here. Well, quite the place you have, Pingu. I believe that's like a metaphor for your 2v2t experience or some shit. Let's see if he uh, if he's brave enough to come back. Oh, who am I kidding? He can't get back in just due to the fucking overload of people. I guess that other little ran away. <clears throat> not a heart. Not a huge surprise. Oh, 
look at this. Ugh. The this is an unregulated tree fort. Fish and wildlife will have to simply reclaim it. Look at this. More trees. God, it's all. So it's this fucking toaster of a computer. this shit. So, uh, yeah, plant logged like a little bitch, um, killed his friend, burnt their stuff, uh, you know, standard stuff, really. See y'all later. Okay, so, I just saw this in chat. Negative 10k, or positive 10k, negative 10k. Just, fuck me, how stupid do they have to be? Oh my god, I can't get over how much of an arrogant little shit I'm being in this entire episode. I know part of it is like being put on as something of a character, but otherwise, I think I think I kind of felt this for real though, way back in this this time. It's really funny. Like, I didn't expect to have this much of like a an attitude. I don't remember this being this way. I don't know. It's it's weird. I haven't watched this video in years. So it kind of like smacks me in the face how different I am. Like, uh, granted, I'm nowhere near that, but still, fucking hell, are you, are you serious? Like, that's less than 20 minutes jaunt in the nether and you're fucked. Who is that stupid? I'll tell you who's that stupid. That's who's stupid. And, uh, I mean, my rewards are negative 300. Oh man, he's in the opposite fucking quadrant. Okay, well, let's go ruin his day first. Since he was foolish enough to give out cords, I suppose he should also be foolish enough <clears throat> to try and run from me. Or who knows what. We shall see. Strider for the win. Yeah. Other. <clears throat> oh, Dominator Jack, what? Yeah, this map's not gonna last long. Oh well. We got a runner. We got a runner. Destruction PvP HD, seriously. Oh, he's bowing his head. Whoops. He's bowing his head in shame. Such a sad existence. Hey, look, he's doing it! He's fucking drowning himself! Are you kidding me with that? This is really, like, concerning looking back on it all, maybe like a lot of these, they had to have been younger kids, right? Like you can never know how old someone is behind a, uh, an, an account, but like surely they were playing along and they were, it was all just fun and games to them. Like part of me wants to believe that, but people who were willingly drowning themselves in this instance, like, like for example, at the very beginning, Platt and his friend Pingu were, uh, happy to pretend to be slaves. And I know back, uh, when was this 2018, 2019, when the small masons were, uh, making the, the big 
Obsidian logo, like, there were people willing and happy to volunteer themselves as what was effectively titled a slave. And it's just like, it's weird, but also, it is a video game. So it's not like there's a permanence to it. You know, real world slavery had a permanence to it. And, um, yeah, since you can always just log out and leave, there isn't really any real pressure. There's like the illusion of pressure, but it's not real because, again, it's it's escapable, you know? It's a lot like cyberbullying. In many instances, you can just walk away from the computer screen and go outside and it more or less kind of stops. Um, that isn't, you know, a 100% across the board applicable thing, but there are elements of, you know, fake pressure, you know, perceived pressure, you know, the, the pressure is in your mind. It's more psychological logical than, you know, than, than literal, that kind of thing. So I don't know, maybe that's why people like Destruction PvPHD were all so eager to kill themselves. I say, drown yourself, and then he does, and it's like, huh, but why though? <laughs> and the answer, uh, the only answer I can come up with is this was just a LARPy, fun little map, and everybody was eager to get along and play. It wasn't as real, heavy air quotes, real, as I was treating it here. So, I don't know, maybe maybe that was a good thing. Like, I, I'm kind of like, I'm not happy with how I was back in those days. I don't know. Um, you have to understand, this is coming off of a, uh, a time period where there really wasn't, like, there weren't an infinite sea of new people, you know? Like, there were a handful of older players and slightly less older players, and that was it. And so, we had this air of superiority for the longest time. Although, I will say, uh, that air of superiority goes out the window the moment mid-July rolls around. So, like, a month after this video was filmed, that all instantly evaporates because that was the very first dupe post rusher and let me tell you that dupe really evened the playing field it changed a lot of the dynamics between pretty much everybody and um it really it really changed how people perceived the newer players jesus seriously hey, this, this take too long goodbye oh seriously that can do it and eat budesonide. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh, that's a little bright. So, yeah. Good lord. The, it's, it's like some of them have lost the will to live, almost. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but... You OGs are dead. That's what Destruction PvP HD just told me. Hmm. Really? I'm dead. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh I'm the one who died back there. Right. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah. Well, I'm heading to 2K2K. Mostly because, uh... <coughs> there, uh, was a giant farm there. I'm gonna see what's left. Uh, 2K, 2K, of course, is 2000, 2000 for those of you who aren't in the know. And, yeah, I'm just gonna see what the hell I can find there. Be back in a bit. So I'm in a fight with this guy. Gonna make sure he regrets it. Unfortunately, I can't record and fight because this toaster of mine is not like that. So, I will be back. Well, uh... So the battle ended, and it was basically a draw. I had to win. I had to retreat. Uh, ran through my first set of armor. I didn't let it get broken, but it was close. And uh, yeah, now I'm down to the second one. So I'm harvesting bones here to replenish food. Then I'll get XP and repair my armor and all that other bullshit. So yeah, that was a that was a fun little encounter. I kind of wish I could have recorded it, but I know that would have made things worse. So, uh, oh well. Damn it, I have my shield up. Oh well, I'm out for the night. It's been tiring today. And with that, I believe that kind of wraps up this little interesting look back into the distant past here. Um, unfortunately, the reason why this video took so long is that it, it was a lot of tedious censoring and altering of things. And believe me, have to do that. Uh, it is what it is. This was truly a completely different era of 2B2T. Like, damn, I am, I am shocked at how vastly different it is. And well, that's life, you know. Sad, but... 
just how it is. So yes, thank you all so much for coming out and giving me a moment of your time. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, I would just like to uh, extend a hearty thank you to all of my members. Uh, Elmo V2B2T, Super Jean Not, Hit the Dash, Know How, Rob, Hydracta, Jam John, Frenzy, Y-O-U-K-J-L, Holmesy85, Raviable, Glub Tubies, Pale Blue Zebra, Orson, Gam, and Amion. Thank you all so much for giving me just a small modicum of support. But if you would like to give me any support of your own, you don't necessarily have to join the memberships, though members do get their name shouted out, as you just heard, as well as a peek into the uncensored versions of these older videos, as well as a signed book on 2B2D itself. And then eventually, when I get around to them, a membership shrine de dedicated to them at every base. You can also follow me on Twitter or join the Discord down below if you want to keep up with what all is going on and our little group here and stay tuned for more episodes of both Jack's Rambly Bits and the newest episode of Jack's Storytime and any other live streams I do, which will all be hopefully to your liking. In addition, I also plan on changing my schedule up a little bit more now that it is summer. I want to start doing some morning streams again. I haven't done that in years. So uh, hopefully that will also fall into the time zone of your country and you'll be able to see the uh, live streams, you know, live going forward. Not really sure. Other than that, though, thank you all so much. Y'all have a great day. Take care.